Good morning, dolls, and welcome to Little Gretchen's Workshop. So, dolls, I hope you all realize how much I'm enjoying doing this doll series, and I'm sure you can tell by now that it's the dolls for me. <laughs> so, I just want to show you a quick technique that I use to add character and bring life to the dolls. Now, if you remember in the video where I created the head or the face, if you haven't seen that video, I will leave a link in the description. But I add color to the white part of the eye. Now, the white part is not painted in. That's actually clay that's baked into the eye socket. And now I'm just using black paint to add an iris and the pupil area. Now, dolls, so I want to be clear here, dolls, that I am not being anatomically correct as I paint in the eyes for my dolls because the eyes are black. I'm painting her eyes black. And I'm just filling in that space so that it just won't look white and blank. Now, you can add colors. You can do pupils. You can be as detailed as you want in this process. I'm just trying to make her eyes look happy and bright because I'm going for more of a feeling or a mood rather than anatomic accuracy. Now, after I got her eyes painted in and was pretty satisfied, I started to do her eyebrows and my paint was way too thick and it gave her an expression that looked kind of angry, which was not the look that I was going for for this little doll. So dolls, I want you to feel confident that if you make a mistake, you can correct it. This is acrylic paint and I'm just using a tiny little detail brush. But again, if you make a mistake, wipe it off and try again. My dolls were very patient with me in my process of detailing them and dressing them and getting them together. So I'm sure your dolls will be too. Now dolls, after I finished with her eyebrows, I really wasn't satisfied with the look of one of her eyes. So I added a teeny bit of black paint right to the bottom part of her eye, closer to her lash line. And I had to be very careful and use a very sparing amount of paint because I didn't want it to blacken all of the white part of her eye or to go out too far. Now I did try to make the eye a little bit bigger than I had originally because to me it makes the doll look happier with a brighter personality when the pupil area is bigger. I really just wanted her to have big bright eyes not small beady little eyes. <laughs> That's a different character. Now after I felt like her eyes were giving the impression that I wanted them to have, I went on to make her a couple little lashes. And I actually just put three little lashes in the corner. I thought that was enough to give her the little sweet, cutesy little girl look. Yeah, I think that's enough. I really like the way she looks. And I'm going to give her a little break and work on another doll. Now, this is the other doll face that I created when I made the little girl doll. He looks a little dusty. Now, I finished him up and sanded him and added a little oil to his face to take that little ashy, dry look off. So, dolls, when you get done with your dolls, if they're looking a little dry after sanding, you can add a little bit of oil just to um, give them a more natural look to them after you've sanded them. Now, you can't see it clearly in this frame, but in the midst of sanding him, I actually broke a part of his ear off. So I'm going to have to make a replacement piece for his right ear, but his other ear turned out good. I am going to do a video showing you how to do ears. You can see there I was sanding and knocked the little tip of his ear off. And again, he's heavily sedated. He didn't feel it. He's not in any pain. And I'll repair it and get them together before he even realizes it was gone. Now here I'm just adding a little watered down pink and brown to his lips to just give him a natural lip color. You know, I use a, a really watered down mix of mocha brown and mauve for the men's lips. Now for my little girl doll, I actually just made her lips straight out pink. I may need to tone them down after they dry because I don't want it to look as though um, she's got on lipstick, but I did want to give her lips a little bit more color to them than I did for him. And I was, when I referenced the pink for her lips, it was a custom 
shade of pink that I made with cardinal red, mauve, mocha brown, and baby pink. So dolls, you definitely just have to play with the colors and mix them to get a color that you're satisfied with for your dolls. So I'm just looking him over real quick. I really like the way the lips tone down now that they're dry. So you usually have to wait until the paint is dry to truly make a determination. Now I can give him a break. Now that I've painted the dolls that I made, I actually want to enhance a couple of the dolls that I purchased or the mass produced dolls. Now, these dolls already had painted faces, but there were things about them I really wanted to enhance. Now, this doll, she had a lovely face, but I did want to brighten up her lips a little bit to make them stand out a little bit more. And I used the same color mix that I had used for the little girl doll. And I made her eyebrows a little bit darker, a little bit heavier to give her face a little bit more definition. And I also darkened in her eyes to make them stand out a little bit more as well. So I just enhanced what she already had. So now let's move on to another doll. Now here's another doll from one of my Minimum World hauls. And I really liked his face, but I needed his features to be a little bit more defined. So again, I darkened his eyebrow and actually even made it a little heavier and a little scruffier just to make him look a little bit more aged. Now in this video, I'm using a base coat of black, but I will be adding some silver and gray because again, he's a senior. And after I finished with the black on his brows, I did darken his eyes a little as well. Now I just wanted to pick up the conversation about the ears. Now when I made my dolls, I did add ears, but I want you to look at the hands and the ears on this mass produced doll. There is barely an ear indention on the side of their heads. They don't bother to put ears on dollhouse dolls. And, and they also make the hands really, really small and the arms short. So this poor thing doesn't even have the indentions of ears. They didn't even bother. And she also has the little cookie hands. You know, dolls, when you're first starting out making your dolls, don't feel bad at all. If in the beginning, your dolls don't have perfect definition of everything, because most mass produced dolls don't have very much definition at all. So I'm using the same technique on her except I'm using more of a brown or gold color on her eyes and just making them bigger, giving her more definition. She's a really nice doll. This is the one that I had to wrap because she had all of the foam and she's got really nice, well-defined feet. So she's able to stand really good on her own. Now, when it came to her brows, I added a nice golden brown color because her original brows were almost invisible. So dolls, I'm showing you all this so that just in case you're not up to making your own doll, you can still use these techniques to upcycle or enhance an existing doll. Now, when it came to her lips, I started with a really pale pink, but after I tried it on her, I really didn't like it. So I went for that same pink that I had used on the other ladies. And I think it looked a lot nicer than that really pale pink. I just happened to glance at her feet. Now she is wearing sandals and I was going to paint her feet, but her dress is going to be long and you won't even notice her shoes. But I just love her feet because she can stand alone. <laughs> and now it's time for this little lady. She's one of the ones I got at the Ann Arbor Miniature Show. So I went right to work making her eyes bigger and I decided to add green to her eyes. I thought it would look pretty with her dark hair. And I actually tried to match her eyebrows to her hair color. But after I actually got the brown on her face, I really didn't like the way it looked. It just looked too dark and too heavy. And I felt like she looked a little mean, almost a little angry. So I had to change it. So I removed the brown and played around with a few more colors. And I decided on this kind of golden brown. I thought it looked more natural and she looked a little bit softer and more pleasant. So now let me gather all the dolls together and prepare them for wardrobe and wigging. Now, if you've enjoyed this video today, definitely let me know in the comments and always look for me on Mondays and Wednesdays after 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next episode of Little Gretchen's Workshop. Bye-bye now, dolls.